Every week, Dr. Skylar Johnson, an oncologist in Utah, gets asked the same thing. Can ivermectin treat my cancer? His answer, quote, it's not been shown to be effective in actual cancer patients, unquote. Widely discredited as a COVID-19 treatment, ivermectin now is promoted in some online circles as a cancer therapy, despite lacking clinical evidence. On platforms like Substack and X, Accounts with thousands of followers push ivermectin as a cheap alternative for patients distrustful of, quote, profit-driven oncology. An ex-post shared thousands of times falsely claims cancer is a parasite that ivermectin can kill, an assertion Johnson said predates the pandemic. An oncologist in Tennessee said, quote, I just feel like we're in some kind of disinformation epidemic. In January, Google searches for ivermectin spiked to their highest level since the pandemic. That surge coincided with actor Mel Gibson's January 9th appearance on Joe Rogan's podcast, where he claimed multiple friends used ivermectin and other drugs to beat stage four cancer. All three of them had stage four cancer. All three of them don't have cancer right now at all. And they had some serious stuff going on. This stuff works, man. The episode, viewed more than 11 million times on YouTube, prompted the Canadian Cancer Society to denounce the actor's comments as, quote, dangerous, cruel, and irresponsible misinformation. Doctors are worried. As one medical oncologist said, quote, the main harm is that some patients will think this is a treatment for their cancer and choose it over actual evidence-based recommended treatments. This delay may result in damage to organs and possibly result in the patient not being able to get the evidence-based recommended treatment due to the disease becoming too advanced.